I told you it was gonna happen. I told you it was gonna happen. Someone was gonna finally come out with something that could cool the EOS R5. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's that one camera guy. Back it again with another video for you. I got some great news for people who have pre-ordered the EOS R5 or thinking about it. There looks to be a way for you to shoot your 8K RAW or even high 4K 120 FPS without it overheating. Now it's not a guarantee, but we'll see how it goes. And I was right on the company. I was so right. I said it was gonna be Tilta and here it is. This is their cage slash fan setup. Amazing, bravo. Bravo. The next camera system to be supported by our tilting collection of camera accessories is the new Canon R5. Featuring a new mirrorless CMOS image sensor and 8K RAW slash 4K 120p capabilities. Canon has made an attractive tool for video content creators. Camera cages, handles, and other accessories will be made available for this new camera along with a brand new cooling module. Look, when I saw that 8K RAW option, it, it would be too hard to pass up even with the overheating limitations and I'm just glad, I'm so glad because I thought at this stage, like it was just gonna be kind of, everything was gonna fall on Sony's lap as far as the, the camera to come out. The competition is really good. It's a good sign, it's a good thing. Uh, created to extend recording times and help mitigate overheating, this easily installed module combines a fan, heat sink, and temperature sensor. It will activate as needed and can be removed with ease. Learn more about this new feature and look for more information about more Canon R5 components and their availability soon. Something to keep in mind, like I said, they're saying it'll mitigate overheating. It doesn't say prevent. So it doesn't mean it's gonna prevent it in all cases, but it will help keep you cool and be able to record longer. So we'll have to wait for more information as more tests are done with it. But the signs look good. I mean, it's, an, it's going in a good direction. And it looks like Tilta's had the camera for some time and able to get this all mocked up and set up. So they must have got the dimensions already, built the cage out, and even got the fan sizing ready to go, just as they expected. Uh, quick removal uh, cooling fan. So it looks like it just kind of snaps into place right there. Don't know if you need the cage yet. I'm not sure. Here's the specifications. Um, seven fan blades, 6200 RPM fan speed, 34 decibel noise level, six ounces. Um... This one's important here. Modular maximum temperature reduction, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Reduces temperature to 59 degrees Fahrenheit within one minute. So if the temperature hits 76, it drops it to 59. Is that what they're saying? I'm not quite sure. Someone let me know if you understand this better than I do. Maximum temperature reduction, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Are they saying that if you go past 82 degrees Fahrenheit, it can't cool it down? Hmm. Or that's, as, that's, as, that's the best it can cool it in a worst case scenario. Is that what they're implying? Smart temperature control switch. Uh, there's an auto detection that triggers the control switch, prevents the camera from producing overcooling moisture, which sounds like a smart thing. Uh, you don't want any issues with your camera. But there's the cage, it looks really nice. And there is the breakout image of the actual device with all the different parts that go into it. I'm so happy for people that wanted this to work out for the Canon EOS R5. I was getting a little worried because of the Cinema 5D situation with the video with the R6 and the testing that some people are already doing with the overheating situation. Um, but this is really great news, great development. I don't think Tilt is gonna be the only company that does this. There's probably gonna be some other ones potentially, but it's going to show you that there's gonna be a way to make the 8K work. It's just too hard for people to pass up. So now we're gonna be in a situation where you got 8K and then you've got 4K on the Sony a7S III. I'm just curious to see where things are gonna go. Now there's some really cool things happening on the a7S III front. I'm gonna have another video on that because uh, there's some other things I, I need to point out too. I forgot to point out in the previous video, but you know that'll be out later. Um, but it's getting exciting. It's only a few more days until the announcement. Again, I'm gonna be doing a live stream. Make sure you check it out. I'll be going in conjunction with it and watch it together and see what ends up happening as far as the features and specs and whether or not we, I was right or Sony off rumors or where they were at in predictions. So that's gonna do it for me in this video, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other content, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.